forensic rhinoplasty as what I call it. When you open the nose up, you have to look at how those tip cartilages are constructed and see if all the assumptions you made based on the way the nose looks are correct. One of the challenging things is people will have a way, I do tips this way. You can't do this in a, this is the way I do my tips every time. They're all different. And so you have to come in thinking, okay, this is what I thought was going on here. But look, all of a sudden I see this really concave lateral cruise on the left and not on the right. And I thought the septum was deviated to the left and that's what was driving this tip asymmetry. And you have to pivot and understand what changes you're going to make. I think that's the first thing. You have to verify that the cephalic malposition and that short axis rotation I was talking about are correct with the lateral crua and then make sure that your plan is correct. So I think that's where it starts. You come in with the plan, you double check your plan once the skin's up and you do that in a way with no retraction on the nose. You're not pulling, you've just folded the skin back and you're just looking at them, laying how they look up, live, live on their face and making sure that's the same.